So we are working on getting the PlayStation hooked back up to the TV and getting the install for the new hard drive uh, taken uh, to air in place. I, I, I may be able to speak the English language today, who knows. All right, well, we'll grab a DualShock friggin' whatever. Uh, well, you know, a USB cable standard micro, and it'll be back. Okay, so I grabbed a new micro cable. Looks like we've got the prompt we wanted. Um, I'm kind of guessing at this right now. I have one of those um, uh, external stands that the PlayStation 4 sits in that has like a hub. Um, crap. Because my USB drive that I have the update on is one of the larger drives that won't fit into the front of the console like I discussed earlier. I didn't think about that. So, um, yeah. Uh, I gotta figure this out. Um, yeah, give me a minute. I'll see what I can do. So now the file tree should be correct, should be PS4 to update, and then inside update should be the update file. Um, I'm not getting the error right away this time, so I'm thinking it worked. Cannot be used. So it seems that I have found possibly the issue. Uh, we'll find out here momentarily. Um, there is an update file that's 3.55 uh, or newer, or there's a firmware file. The firmware file is needed for a new hardware install. Um, obviously, uh, I should have known that uh, in doing this. But there's been a few different posts from a few different sources um, that have said, you know, go grab the update file, so on and so forth. Um, so when I read that the machine wanted 3.55 or newer, I just kind of coin uh, or connected those two pieces, update with update, and didn't think anything about the firmware process uh, due to a new install on a new hard drive. So anyway, um, obviously it's thinking, uh, it's reading the drive currently. We'll see if it uh, is able to grab this uh, or not, uh, and then we'll we'll be able to go uh, forward. Um, obviously I'll have more info in the description about um, the update versus the uh, firmware, um, and you guys can have a better understanding possibly uh, than I did when you start this process. So right now we'll just kind of wait uh, for the PlayStation to kind of do its thing. Okay, so we have an initialization uh, warning. All users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? This is covered in multiple uh, different tutorials across the web. So uh, you can find more on this if you want. But the answer obviously is yes. If you say no, you are stopped through the process. So there we go. Um, moves pretty quickly. Honestly, I, I was expecting it to be worse. So uh, cross our fingers. Hopefully it's not gonna be too bad. sitting at about 60%, um, and this has taken the better part of a minute or so. Okay, so initial setup's just been done. I still have to go through and download my profile and download all the games, everything else. But uh, essentially we have a two terabyte hard drive. And if you look at the very, very top corner there, we have 1.77 terabytes remaining. Let me go ahead and make this easier for you guys to see. So there we go, 1.77 terabytes, 1.76 terabytes of free space. We have upgraded our PlayStation from a 500 gig hard drive to a two terabyte hard drive using the Nyko Databank uh, external enclosure kit. Thanks for tuning in guys. I appreciate all the support. By all means, uh, subscribe if you haven't to keep up on uh, weekly videos from the Geeky Techie Cool channel. Thank you, bye-bye.